I know I wasn't here long, but... Oh no, is the internship over already? I don't think there's any reason for you to thank me. I wasn't around when the really big stuff happened. Sure. Huh? <laughs> Gran Torino and I have different definitions of what big stuff means. You survived, yes, but only because the hero killer let you. <gasps> that is kind of true. You're too impatient, and when you lose focus, you lose control too. You must always be calm and alert. I feel like we have so much more to learn. If this is Yoda, hopefully we get an episode six where we go back for the final training. I mean, now's not the best time either, but here I am. Out with it now! I've got pastries to eat! <laughs> Very important, you know. You should be super famous. Mmm. But you're not. This connects with the whole stain thing, right? Like seeking fame and money. I was just never that interested in working as a pro hero. But what's the point without the fame and the money? <laughs> it might be better to hear this from Toshi. All Might, I mean. He can explain everything better than me. I feel like subtly that was a very wise decision, letting All Might explain it. He's still just like Toshinori. Yeah. Hey, boy! Who are you? Seriously? Still with this? Nah, he's joking. I'm Deku! <laughs> nice. Let you and me watch over him together, Toshinori. Yeah, this is not the end of Gran Torino. Until the day that the hero Deku was celebrated around the world as the new symbol of peace. Nice. It feels like a huge success overall. Like, gaining Gran Torino as an influence, as an ally. All Might, as great as he is, in many key ways is a novice, right? Like, it's his first time teaching. I think Gran Torino so far is sort of a really great support to that. He also is a little bit more free in his way, you know what I mean? Like, he has that grandpa thing. I feel like grandparents, they get to have the best of their grandkids without putting up with all the work and all the crap. Gran Torino can afford to be a little bit more zen about the whole thing, and that's really important for Deku, because I think if All Might has any flop at all, it's that he's a little bit too intense, and is a little bit too zoomed in on, like, one specific way of being that he wants Deku to be. Listen up! A tale from the past. There's this backstory they keep hinting at. You know, I've gotten a little bit about it, but... What the it looks great. Come on. Damn, I kind of wanted more internships, though. I'm a little bit sad. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I didn't fight. All I did was help people evacuate and provide logistical support. But it still sounds like so much fun! I spent basically Sue had a... time trading and cleaning the ship deck. Well, there was Except for that time that I, like, saved everyone. Smugglers. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was amazing. How was your week? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, she got exactly what she wanted. The ability to kill. All women are demons at heart. They just hide their true personalities behind pretty faces. What the heck oh my, lady oh my god. That was awful. Oh yeah, the hero killer. Speaking Glad of good stories. Back alive. Seriously. Yeah. I worried about you too. You were lucky you never showed up. We're all worried. You guys. There so for a minute. Cool. Especially just for Ida. Expect from the number two hero. Oh right, nobody can know the full story. They just gotta eat this. Oh no. Oh my god, but, but, if there was ever a thing that would make these three tight, it's having this secret. They just immediately were put into this secret club. Secret hero club. Although, I feel like the truth just wants to come out, and that'll probably be a thing at some point. Can you imagine how frightening it would have been if that creep had been there when they attacked the USJ? He's scary, At least they have yeah. each other to confide Did in. Did you see him in that weird video? It's all over the internet. Yeah, yeah. Weirdly, Climax was just the beginning. He's almost kind of cool, Oh no, stop think? it. I'm Inori! Oh, dude. No, it's okay. I understand why people might think he was cool. But instead of helping the world, his beliefs led him to cold-blooded murder. Yeah. No matter his motives, killing cannot be condoned. Yeah, Eden and I are sort of in agreement there. Well, I Hey, he's back I to his own self! To be Hell the yeah. Perfect hero. There we go. That made me feel so good. Amazing how a simple arm movement can restore my faith in, in humanity. Why do these little things get me so hyped? <laughs> that whole mini monologue was, was super cool. Very subtle, but awesome. Because Ida was talking to himself in a way, right? Because he was going after Stain to try to kill him. Also, very interesting about the whole incident with Stain is that Stain is obviously evil, yet he taught Ida something very important. For me, it's a really big deal that Ida seems to have learned a lesson. He's not like still wrapped up in all this just pure rage and anger. He came across someone who, even though it was an enemy, had something that Ida needed to look at, and he was able to look at it. So I'm really curious to see where Ida goes from here on out. My feeling is that it's positive, although he's probably not totally out of the woods yet in that regard. It's time for class to begin. Everyone, please take your seats. <laughs> this is making me so happy to see him back to normal. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Normalcy is good. It makes you appreciate. I am here. Hope you're ready to return to our <laughs> lessons. Today it's hero basic training. Feels like I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, really. Where have you been, dude? I've been so so lonely without you. <laughs> Inside is an area full of factories that form an intricate labyrinth. So good luck finding your way around. 
You'll be competing in groups of five. Did they build this just for the school? These complexes just get more and more elaborate. But try to keep the property damage to a bare minimum, please. Why are you pointing at me? All right. You know. You know. I'd say Midoriya is at a heavy disadvantage against those four. That's what I think. Moving around quickly isn't really one of his strong suits, that's for sure. And whenever he uses his powers, he always gets badly injured. Who's your pick? But he's been training. You don't understand how much training he did in that living room. Gran Torino living room training. Which is right up there with the hyperbolic time chamber. I'm betting on Saro. Oh, are we betting? I'm betting on Ida. I know Deku will be last. Even if he's- <laughs> Oh no. Ida's got this one. That wasn't even part of the bet. He just wanted to say that. Yeah, go Look on, Ida. Go. You got this. In a maze like this, it makes sense to be above everything else. So that means Saro's at an advantage because he can take to the sky. It's like this course was built That is me true. <laughs> there you go. Show him that living room training. Be the whole microwave or the egg or whatever. Whoa, Damn, I shouldn't have counted out Deku so, so quickly. Why can't he do that? But Ida has, I feel, more to prove to himself right now. Those jumps. He looks He's a different like Deku. Those are my moves. Are they? Oh, I spent my time getting groomed at that useless internship. <laughs> it wasn't useless. I mean, you got great hair. Let's not count that out too quickly. Doria, are you kidding me? Shouldn't he be breaking a bunch of bones? I like how they stop, <laughs> just to watch him do it in a race. Wait till he's at a hundred percent. Damn. Whoops. <laughs> and it's over. Thanks, hero. And congratulations! Alright! What? Compared to the start of the year, you all showed me some incredible improvements. Keep yeah. working and preparing for your upcoming final exam. It's amazing Sir. how much better they've gotten in one month. Final exams? Find me after class. We need to talk. Uh, yes, sir. And we need to the go to the beach. come for me to tell you the whole truth about me and one for all. And then we can clean up the beach. There's a lot of dirty beaches. <laughs> Go back to the beach, damn it. <laughs> no, but yeah, I want to learn the truth. I bet there's a uh, oh, dark history today, huh? that's connected the to the villain. In a while that had me glistening. Man, I really gotta work on my mobility. How does the, the voice actor do it for Aoyama? Like, the things he's saying are not, not bad. It just comes off as bizarre and super weird. You won't believe what I just found! The jackpot! Oh, no, 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 stop. A previous generation has given us a gift. You know what's next door, right? This looks into the girl's locker room. All right, who's going to be the hero and resist the evil? Peter. Like that would be criminal. Lots of these unexpectedly thought movies. That's Jiro's earphone jack. He had it coming. Why am I the only one he didn't say anything about? Oh no, that's not a thing to be insecure about. You do not need to worry about Mineta's opinion about you. <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry I wasn't around to help you out. Oh no, you don't need to you were apologize not there. for that. Do you remember how I gave my power to you? What I said that day? You Eat gave this. him some DNA. No, yeah. not that part. I said the key was in my DNA. Yeah, yeah, that part. Don't tell me the hero killer has one for all now! No, he doesn't. I just thought you might be worried about that, but I see it didn't cross your mind. Didn't cross my mind either. It's not something that can just be taken by force, although it can be transferred by force. Kind of like this. Here, you have to take it! What kind of example is that? <laughs> I feel like it's very relevant to All Might's life. How many times has that happened, All Might? It used to be something different. The name of that quirk is All for One. All for one. It allowed its user to take quirks from others, and the user could keep the quirks for himself or give them to someone else. Right, okay. And there's someone out there who can do this. When quirks first appeared, suddenly it was impossible to say what pretty it cool. meant to be a normal person. Laws and human rights were hotly debated. Yeah, we got a little X-Men thing going on. It was one person who managed to rally many people together. He went by the name of his power, All for One. He stole quirks from others. What a way to start the whole quirk thing off. He became the leader of villains and ruled over Japan. This sounds like a great story. It's not mentioned in our textbooks. Because it's the kind of shameful history people would rather ignore. Anyway, when a person gains true power, they enjoy showing it off to others. <laughs> this opens up so many crazy doors. Like, this guy's powers are just limited to any power. 
right? If he can take them. It also seems like he might have something like, maybe not immortality, but at least like super longevity, just because All Might's fought him, All Might's teachers fought him, and he existed like at the beginning of Quirks. Pretty interesting villain. And I wonder what the, the thematic significance is of that being reversed, right? Like all for one versus one for all, where all for one seems like this depletive force but one for all feels like protective although my gut feeling still about the show is that one for all is not the complete story it might end up being something more like one for one <laughs> i don't know or all ones for all if that makes sense all for all there we go there were many poor souls who couldn't bear the burden of the quirks they were given they became like mindless living dolls incapable of speaking where have Just we heard like that before yeah <laughs> meanwhile some quirks actually evolved as they were passed on some even combined with other power sets. So many doors this opens. All for one transfer to Quirk to his sibling. One that would allow him to stockpile power. Oh, so maybe this guy's the actual threat. He had a useless power that only allowed him to pass on Quirks. And so the stockpiling ability merged with the younger brother's power. Wow. And that is how one for all came to be. I've always found it ironic. Interesting. That justice so often spawns from evil. Huh. It's funny because I was just talking about that in connection to Ida. If something or someone is actually evil or threatening, it means on some level they have something to contend with. If they were bad intentions but didn't have something, they wouldn't be worth even noticing. It's interesting and personally relevant to me because I feel like for all my talk about ideals and trying to do good things, I feel like a lot of my most important traits were formed in reaction to things that I really didn't like to see. And in that way, even some of the worst things I've experienced have been a gift, you know, because terribleness is a real thing, you know? It's part of the whole truth. In many ways, it does create a path like that. You know, it can create a path to goodness because things must emerge in response to it or they just destroy us. So I kind of like that as a touch. I kind of like that one for all arose out of all for one. It's a response and in many ways, it feels like a, a good response, at least a first response to the idea of like ultimate power for oneself or ultimate desire to attain things for oneself at the expense of others. It's a pretty great backstory. One who steals quirks has no limits. Anything's possible. There are right. quirks that halt aging. Right. Even though he couldn't defeat all for one, he hoped one for all would continue to grow in power. It's an old battle. And I managed to defeat all for one. Temporarily. That's what I thought. Yeah. But he survived and is now back in action as the brain behind the League of Villains. Yeah. I guess one quirk he didn't steal is the power to pick good names. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> so now you know. The entire now we know. Of one for all is to defeat all for one. I know you didn't expect this, but I'll do my best. I'll do whatever you ask, no matter what it might take. I feel like you'll do more than all my asks. As long as you're with me. Come on, tell him. Oh no! Don't let him down. He just said you have his back. That's not how it'll happen. He won't understand. No, no, no! Tell the truth. No, no. I'm sorry, young Midoriya. But by the time you face him. I won't be by your side anymore. <gasps> no, no, no. We'll figure out a way. There's so many little thematic threads happening that are interweaving. It's hard for me to keep track of them all. At this point, it feels like everything that's said is, is a reference to something that's been said before. Like, for example, this is something that Gran Torino was warning Deku about, about over-reliance on All Might. And that was Deku's first reaction. As long as you're here, I can do it. But wow, this episode was great for raising the stakes for the villain. We had seen some of it, right? Like, we knew that he had multiple powers and could pass powers on. We didn't know that All for One was a direct result of that or came out of that. It makes the battle seem older, right? Because it's a battle between Brothers, ultimately. And it also gives a clearer picture of just how intimidating this villain is, how powerful he is, and how, like, timeless he is, too. So overall, another great episode. It's amazing how this show just keeps building on itself. Like, something ends, in a way it'll feel like a peak, but then you find out that that was actually just set up for something that's coming. It's really fun how they keep it rolling like this. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time when we deal with a much more dangerous threat. Final exams. <laughs> oh, you thought I forgot the end credit scene, didn't you? Well, joke's on you, because I did, but then I remembered. <laughs> can't just relax an entire month. Does that mean? You'll be training while you're camping in the woods. I knew it! All Damn, rise. this is gonna be fun. A big sleepover! Fast! Fireworks! Rings! And s'mores! Grenade Oh my god, <laughs> he's losing it. You must always remain vigilant. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. And despite everything, my goals haven't changed. Stay focused. Now that I think about it, all Might didn't really say anything specific about himself. Mmm, I wonder why that is.
Now that he's viral, those who want to wreak havoc or who simply sympathize... Damn, this is really up, up with the times, targeting viral videos. Their urges. If only we'd gotten our hands on the super regeneration quirk five years earlier. I'm getting some serious father vibes right now. How much has he really grown? He'll do well, even if I have to work him to the bone. It's the only way he'll be able to take my place. What's the he significance? Was born with the twisted mind needed to become the next me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for explaining. Oh because my god, look at his face. Soon, or this whatever that is. This peace will come to a violent end. Yeah, it's definitely building. In the past, I've talked about one problem with All Might's philosophy that I can see, which is that, like, the idea of self-sacrifice is noble, and I think important, but there's a line where if you see yourself as expendable towards that goal, you've sort of gone a step too far. Because I think part of true strength, or part of true giving, is not making the whole weaker, and not seeing yourself as a lesser or the least part of of the whole system. You know, other people wouldn't want that for you either. And here, very directly, All Might might not be able to face this villain because of how far he sacrificed. So it's like a very real consequence of that belief. And so the question, and I guess part of the dramatic tension is like, well, will Deku be ready in time? And also, will Deku be able to do it better than All Might? Because not only do the powers increase, but you hope also the philosophy gets more refined. If it's a metaphor for like power and growth and giving and things like that. So pretty cool end scene. All right, goodbye for real. <laughs>